Hello, I'm Shami Conacher, and I'll be talking to you about a sex-based animal model study on methamphetamine um, misuse at altitude. Our group had done demographic studies, studies showing that substance abuse increases with altitude of residents, and um, a positive correlation was, was seen between meth use and mean state altitude. Um, when aligned by um, state altitude, Rocky Mountain states showed significantly higher rates of meth use versus the other states in the US. Living at altitude involves chronic exposure to hyperbaric hypoxia and inspired oxygen rates are significantly lower from 2000 feet onwards and healthy people at um, in Salt Lake City at 4,500 feet, exhibit lower blood oxygen levels and lower forebrain energetic markers versus those at sea level. We therefore asked whether living at altitude poses a biological risk for meth abuse. The model we used is called the conditioned place preference. And this is what um, the CPP box looks like. There are two outer chambers which are recognized by visual and um, tactile cues, tactile from the floor. Uh, the box has two sliding doors here that when open allow access to the whole um, apparatus and when closed restrict an animal to one chamber and this is used during drug conditioning. It is a 10 day protocol with daily 30 minutes sessions and is used for um, figuring out chamber preference after drug conditioning. Animals were housed at the three, these three altitudes for two weeks, and then the CPP test was done for eight, for 10 days. The first day of the test is called a pretest session. The doors are all open and the animal roams around for 30 minutes and chamber preference is assessed for each individual rat. Um, after this, it comes the conditioning phase. And on day two, the animals injected with methamphetamine and put into the non-preferred chamber from the pretest session and allowed to roam for um, 30 minutes restricted to that chamber. Similarly, the saline, uh, saline injection is paired with the preferred chamber on odd days. That continues for eight days and is followed by the CPP test when doors are opened and chamber preference is assessed again. CPP results are measured as test preference. So how much does the rat like or prefer meth? Um, and this is the time in the CPP test that the animal spends in the meth chamber versus the saline chamber. And then in, and then test difference, which measures how much does um, meth liking increase after conditioning. So that's meth preference or time spent in the meth chamber um, after conditioning minus that from before. So an increase in test preference and difference um, indicates that meth, meth rewards are higher. In the control group, animals were treated with saline alone and uh, males and females in the three altitude groups did not change behavior at all. So there's no general effect of altitude on CPP behavior. Met, in the meth condition CPP, um, two doses of meth were used. And for both doses, females showed an increase in meth preference and meth difference with altitude versus sea level while males showed no significant change with altitude. Um, we then looked at striatal dopamine by ELISA and um, striatal dopamine is involved in processing reward stimuli. We found that um, in females at altitude, striatal dopamine increased versus um, those at sea level. And also um, in females, striatal dopamine increased with time at altitude. And this is shown in these two figures. And in males, again, we found no significant difference. 
So in conclusion, in females, met liking increases at altitude, possibly due to increased striatal dopamine, and living at altitude may thus pose a biological risk for methamphetamine misuse in females. Thank you very much.